This is a fresh install Windows 11. And uh, for demonstration purpose, I want to show how to install the software and driver on Windows 11. Um, I have to declare that I am not the Windows 11 user and I'm new to 11, Windows 11. First, uh, let's download the software. And here is the browser. First, go to www.usbjtech.com and under the file download, we can download the main setup here and click download. So after finish download, we can open the file and then run the setup and it says protect it and you need to go there and run anyway Yes. After install, go to the desktop and click here. Then run the USB JTAG NT software. Select your target. Uh, here, let's say I want to go SB6141 of 6120. And you can select here, uh, resize it. Now, I already have the Ulink NT plugged in, but the, the uh, connection state says disconnected. So we need to go to the uh, device manager here. Let's, let's go here and device manager. You can see there is a device unknown. Now we need to go to the download and download Windows driver. And here we don't have a Windows 11 driver, but I think Windows 10 driver should just work fine. So let's download it. And we can open the file. And this is Windows 10. Uh, we can extract somewhere Let's say I extract under the uh, document or desktop. So on the desktop, we have the driver here. So now I right click here and we say after driver and browse my computer. Now here we go to the desktop. And then we select window 10 and then we click next. And now close. So now the driver is being installed properly. The software will pop up for activation. And once this comes up, you can, uh, if you already have the code, you will enter the email address and click online activation like here. And it was activated. If you have not received the activation, the unlike activation will send us an email and we will generate the code for you. So the installation for Windows 11 is almost identical to Windows 10 and there's not much difference. The only difference is you need to know that the driver uh, you can get from the Windows 10 driver. And in this case, I'm using the Windows 11 Home 64-bit uh, version, and the Windows 10 driver should work just fine.